What's up guys? Lisa here. This lighting is horrible, but it could be worse because you wouldn't even be able to see my face, so I think we can handle this orangeness. Eh. Welcome to another episode of Baking with Lisa! It literally has felt like a year since I've done an episode of these, so I hope you enjoyed this one. And this time I'm actually going to be starting off by scratch and not by box. Today we are going to be baking Hershey's hot fudge pudding cake. If you do not find my baking abilities and this video helpful, I will leave a link in the description for the recipe that is on the website that I did not even know Hershey's had a website, but what do you know? They do. For this recipe, you will need granulated sugar, all-purpose flour, Hershey's co coca, co baking powder, salt, Butter, vanilla extract, white brown sugar, water, and milk. First things first, we preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not exactly sure what that is Celsius. I'll put it right here. Okay, it's preheating. Go me. Apparently, I really, really suck at reading recipes and I added in the wrong amount of ingredients. All of this was a literal waste. Good, good job, me. Good job. So, this is take two of me doing this freaking recipe. You know, I'm not even surprised that I did that wrong because I'm so used to doing box things. Like, I, for once, am trying to do a freaking recipe and of course I just did, 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 did. Of course I just mess up. So, wish me luck on this second try that it doesn't come out as bad and I just wasted like 30 minutes just doing that. I am amazing, literally. I dumped out what I had and now we must add three fourths cup of granulated sugar, one cup of flour, one fourth cup of the Hershey's Coca, two teaspoons of baking powder, one fourth a teaspoon of salt. Start stirring and as you stir, add half a cup of milk, one third cup of butter, and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. Here goes my half cup of milk, my one third of butter. This looks really weird. I could smell the vanilla. As you can see, it is now very smooth. Now it says to spread the batter in a square pan, but I don't have a square pan, so this rectangle one will have to do. Now that it is nicely spread into this, you will mix together 1 4th cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of light brown sugar, and 1 4th cup of the Hershey's Coca thingy. I sprinkle this mixture over the batter evenly. Now we have this. We pour one and one fourth cup of hot water over the top. Do not stir. Just pour it over the top. This looks really weird because it's like it's water, so like <laughs> it's kind of awkward and watery. Now we put it in the oven for 30 to 45 minutes. Such a long time. I'll see you then. There it is, looking pretty weird. I see some bubbles forming. Thirty-five minutes. It seems pretty well, so now I'm gonna take it out of the oven. It looks kind of weird. I'm gonna let it set for fifteen minutes, and then we'll be back to actually try and taste this. Woo! <laughs> It looks really bad. It can still taste good, right? I can't tell whether I like it or if I don't. It tastes kind of weird. It's pretty watery. I mean, I expected that because it was pudding cake or whatever, but not as good as I expected it to be. Make sure to like this video if you liked it. I literally need the support because this took so long to make and 
the struggle. As I said before, the recipe for it will be down below in case you don't trust me. Because I don't trust myself either, so... Yeah. Hope to see you guys next week. And have a nice week. And yeah, and... Yeah. Bye!